if you're not within that group, those group of people that attend the CSM and all the, um, the university that people deem as um, a top um, top university, it, it, it's difficult for you to break that barrier. So it's difficult for people to probably take you seriously as a designer, as a as a creative director, because you you kind of outside of that. How do you break that barrier? Remember that fashion is a business. So if you if you like fashion, you know, and but maybe like me, you're not necessarily a creative in the traditional sense. Think about other things. There's so many back office functions that support um, fashion organisations. Or actually, maybe you are are someone who's gifted with design, and like Fode, you've gone out and you've secured your future through a you know a more traditional route, maybe that isn't associated with design, um, and maybe that's your entry in. A really important note to, to sort of make that there are a lot of these opportunities that perhaps a lot of young people don't know about or don't hear about, and also you know not forgetting. Um, older people who are wanting to, to change careers. I mean, we've, we've got a lot of that happening since the pandemic. People are, re are thinking about, I've really always wanted to get into fashion. How can I do this? It's something I've always wanted to do. So it's not just about younger people. 